This is Dabu 7, an update on this tropical storm that is now named Hermine. We talked about this last week, and this has the potential to reach right below the Category 1 hurricane status as it passes over northern Florida into Georgia. Now, I want to show you a couple different tracks and models here showing exactly where they expect this to go and what they expect out of it. Now, as you can see here, a hurricane watch around the Big Bend area of Florida. Obviously, no, because it's not a hurricane, but there is a tropical storm watch all the way back up through Jacksonville, as you can see, over to the eastern coast. Now, this newly named Hermine, as you can see here, has roughly 40 mile per hour winds, and it's expected to shift from where it's sitting right now in bow right back toward that bend in Florida. Looking at light, you can see that this is a cluster of tightly organized storms that are rolling up through here, and some parts of Florida have already been flooded out. If you look at some of the images today, some of the areas already have feet of water on the ground in some places. It's not what has dropped, but with the flash flooding, it can pile up quick. And I'm going to show you another chart here in a minute that shows why it piles up quick in Florida. Now you can see here is the path, and you can see by the time that it gets into this region, it's expected to be around 60 mile per hour. And then once it gets off the coast, you're talking 65. So this is going to affect the Carolinas. And the way that it's looking now, it could potentially affect the northeast. Gaining energy the whole way. Normally, you know, when these things come over land, they die out. But this is just going to do that briefly. And it could really pick up to hurricane status by the time it gets over on the eastern coast. But they're expecting this to drop torrential amount of rain. And the storm surge is going to be great. Now, as you can see here, there's over a half mile of seafloor rise coming out of the gulf up onto the shelf here where Florida sits. And you can see where it goes from very deep right up to very shallow. And this causes that water to stack up in some of these places. Cross City, areas that are directly in the crosshair of this. This could be very bad for some of these people. Now there's also tornado watches out because they say with these storms coming through that through this area, many different tornadoes could spin up. There have been evacuations ordered. The governor has now declared a state of emergency ahead of this. The National Guard is called up and on deck, ready to be mobilized and sent into motion if needed. And you can see here the heaviest rainfall amounts that they're expecting in the Big Bend area, north of Tampa. And then it's going to move its way back out off the eastern coast. Now, the models and tracks can change with this within three to five days, I mean, pretty dramatically. But one thing's for sure, Florida's already getting hit with flooding rain. It's going to continue in the next 48 hours. It's going to be rather rough. So people prepare if you're in the path of this from the bend all the way back up through Savannah. It's going to be coming through your neck of the woods. You can see here. that model and right now is a good time to make sure that you have a plan before this hurricane hits I talk about it all the time have a plan have a plan if you can plan for a lights out scenario you should be able to be better off than not having a plan whatsoever but anyone that lives in the path of potential hurricanes coming through should always have a plan specifically for that. Now, as far as coverage of this event, anyone out there has any footage, anything they want to get out there, let me know, dabu7 at yahoo.com. I'll share it and get it out there. In terms of any live streaming or helping out on the ground down here after this moves through, we're going to have to sit and play it by ear. Uh, this is why we're pushing our Kickstarter campaign. For when things like this go down, we can get a guy to these places quickly. 
and be able to be the eyes and ears on the ground and also help out as much as possible. But heads up, Florida, this is coming your way. I will leave links and continue to update with more information as I come across it. It's been Dabu7. Hi, Shalom. Uh, I'd like to give praises to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, um, double honors to apostles and elders, great millstone, and um, peace and blessings, salutation to the brothers that's pushing this truth out, right? Um, as you can see, man, uh, tropical storms, Herman state of emergency declared in Florida, National Guard on deck. So what's going to happen, what's happening is, is according to prophecy, according to the scriptures, man. You know, the Lord is not doing this, you know what I'm saying, um, for no reason. Because the reason why the most high is sending hurricanes and storms and all this, you know what I'm saying, to America. Because America is wicked as hell. You know what I'm saying? So the Lord basically, um, he's brewing everything up. Before everything, you know, before everything, you know, get, get completely, um, you know, completely out of hand, you know, like what I mean by that, you know, he brewing things up, so we're, you know, just prepping things up for destruction, man, all right, so, um, uh, no further ado, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to these scriptures, man, you know, it's gonna be a short little lesson, you know, this, um, the reason why the most high, um, you know, he's hitting, he's hitting, he's hitting, uh, Florida, you know, telling what other states he's gonna hit. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to understand that uh, this all according to prophecy. All right? I'm going to go to uh, scriptures real quick. I'm going to go to Isaiah. Chapter 29. Verse 6. It say, Thou shalt be visited of the Most High of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, all right, with storm and tempest and the flame of the fire and fire. So that's self explanatory, man, all right. And, um, and, it, and it tells you that the Most High, um, He's going to send, he's going to send, um, a lot of destruction to America, man. And that's what's going on in Florida. And, um, they got other updates on Florida as well. So I'm going to, um, tune in and, um, and keep you updated on that too. So, um, I'm going to read it again and say, thou shalt be visited of the most, who is the most high of hosts? The angels, man. Because the angels, you know what I'm saying, the Lord had the angels controlling the wind, controlling the, um, controlling the earthquakes, you know, controlling the, um, the whirlwinds, the, um, the tornadoes and stuff like that. With thunder and with earthquakes and great noise. With storm and tempest. What's the word tempest? What do tempest mean? Go back to the Hebrew word, sa'ar. Um, tempest, storm, whirlwind, tempest, hurricane, storm, tempest, whirlwind, you know, same thing, you know, um, so the Lord is basically, um, Yahweh Hashem Abishai is basically, um, visiting America, man, with, with, with storms and tempests, man, you know what I'm saying, to, you know, to destroy you, eat them, and you two-thirds, man, all right? So, uh, no further ado, I'm going to go to Ezekiel. Thirteen and thirteen. He said, thus, therefore, thus said the most high power, I will even rend it with a stormy wind. And what's that stormy wind, man? You know what I'm saying? The, um the tropical storms, you know, mainly goes on in Florida, Miami, because Miami is like one of the wicked, one of the, one, like must like one of the wickedest part of, of America. I will even rend it with a stormy wind and my fury 
that there shall be an overflowing shower. Like the like Dabu Seven said, um, it's going is the the water is at the peak of the base of, of Florida, man. It's gonna overflow. It's gonna take over um Florida, man. All right, and that's that's the that's the scripture. All right, you say the wind in, in my theory. Cause the Lord is pissed, man. The Lord is pissed at um America, man. All the wickedness and all the turmoil and all the bullshit that's going on, man. That's why the Lord is sending hailstorms and um storms and wind and um floods, man. And there shall be an overflowing shower and my anger. You know what I'm saying? And great hailstorm and my fury to consume it. So America is gonna consume every every fury, every overflowing shower. And every anger of the Most High, man. All right. So yeah, man. That's that's one hit of scripture right there, man. So this is what the Most High is um, doing. All right. Um, I'm gonna go to the last scripture real quick. I'm gonna go to Nahum chapter one, verse three. He say the most high, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai is slow to anger and great in power. <laughs> All right. So if you, basically America pushed the most highest buttons, man. You know what I'm saying? Basically he's getting tired of this shit. And the, and the elect getting tired of this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? So the Lord is, you know what I'm saying, he he's slow. To anger and great in power. What's that great in power? You see on TV, see on your news stations, man. The the, the winds, the, the tornadoes, the earthquakes. You know what I'm saying? The um the pestilence. You know, the diseases that's going on out here. You know. The judgment of America. Period. And we're not at all acquit the wicked. So basically, the Lord is not gonna let off the wicked, man, because all the wicked. Who was the wicked? Esau. These other nations and the two thirds. You know what I'm saying? The most high have his way in the whirlwind. And that's exactly what's going on up in uh, Florida, man. He's having his way with the whirlwind, man. He's having his way sending all types of um, storms, sending all types of um, um, floods. You know what I'm saying? And that's what happened down in uh, Louisiana. Know what I'm saying? So, and in the storm and the clouds are the dust of his feet. So the Most High is bringing hell of judgment to America, man, through his winds, his storms. You know what I'm saying? And, and tempests, man. So that's gonna cause fires. That's gonna cause um the power grid to shut off. And I pray that Yahweh Shem was shy that he actually cut off all the lights. Because basically, most of you motherfuckers is proud, man. All right? And for those that, that watch my uh, channel saying I'm cussing and all that, kill your fucking self, man. All right? Well, if you don't like it, man, you can go to another channel. You can watch um, Lamb Chops, man. Play along type shit, all right? So, we're living in reality right now, man. America's, America's about to be destroyed, man, by thermonuclear fire. Not to get off subject, all right. Um, <clears throat> um, that's basically it, all right. Um, this this is the judgment of the Lord, and then they're showing you this is why He's sending um hurricanes and um, hurricanes and floods, man, and, and heavy rain through the spirit and power. How about she might shine His judgment, all right, upon America. So with that. Um, I like to say uh, all praises and glory and honor to the Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, double honors to the elders, apostles, a great millstone, and um, a salutation to the Akim that's pushing this truth, man. All right, stay spiritual, stay strong, and um, we're almost out of here, man. Shalom.